Holy freaking crap, guys. Uh, this is probably the rarest uh, item I'll ever own for my collection, hands down. If you don't already know what's in front of your eyeballs, is it's all of the releases of Curse of the Blood Rubies from the beginning to the end. And uh, we're going to cover them all. So starting from the very beginning, which is probably the, which is definitely the rarest thing I ever own, is the sample VHS tape to Curse of the Blood Rubies. This is a sample. This is actually, to my knowledge, uh, this is probably the very first produced uh, home video of Dragon Ball in the United States ever. You can't, there's nothing that predates this that is on a VHS or on a recording. That, I mean, obviously there's stuff in their computer systems where they recorded it for the first time, but this is the first physical uh, production of anything. And this was given out to stores and retailers to uh, maybe buy Dragon Ball and, uh, you know, start um, showing their content. Uh, and that's what that is. And beside it, and this is uh, dated 1994. Beside it, we have the screener, which you can't tell the difference on the side. But this is the screener version of the Curse of the Blood Rubies, which this is 1994. That's in 1995. Beside it, I have the sealed Curse of the Blood Rubies. Uh, and that is a 1996, the official release date of the Curse of the Blood Rubies uh, that anybody could go out and buy. The screener, like I said earlier, the screener and the promo or sample. Uh, were sent to retailers to promote Dragon Ball uh, to get them in stores and all that crap. Uh, official release in 1996. Uh, then the uh, Dragon Ball The Saga of Goku Volume 2 had the movie Curse of Blood Rubies in it, which is the same thing as the VHS, just in DVD format. And then, and finally in 2011, Funimation got the rights to redub uh, Harmony Gold's uh, dubbing, and that is right there, the movie one. This also came in a box set, but I just got the uh, single DVD. So we're going to dive really deep into all of these just to make it one awesome freaking video. And uh, catch you guys in. So this is Curse of the Blood Ruby. Notice they don't put the S on this one for some reason. Uh, it's also misspelled because technically it would be uh, R-U-B-Y. Uh, but yeah, this thing is so old, man. 1994. This is the oldest home video you can actually acquire. Uh, and I, this obviously couldn't be bought in stores, as I said earlier, so technically it doesn't count to my collection list, but dang it if it's not uh, bragging rights. This is this is top tier. This is this doesn't get any better than this. Uh, funny enough, I'm still missing one Dragon Ball VHS tape, Five Warriors, uh, Fortune Teller Bob or Five Warriors edited. But what's, what's harder to get, this or Five Warriors? We don't know. Coincidence? Who knows? Uh, but this is it, man. This is, this is the rarest thing in my collection hands down as you see at the bottom it says sample not for resell which I will get this closer in a minute and this condition is pretty daggone good for what it is except for one corner which I will show you be on the top Dragon Ball uh, let's see the side 43 minute color Dragon Ball Curse of the Blood Ruby uh, VHS Hi-Fi Stereo uh, the other side has a little water damage right there which I'm not complaining I don't care but it's just the same thing, at least I have one side good in the back. And a lot of, what, what's super rare about this is they don't call Goku, Goku. They call him Zero, which is awesome. Uh, in the screener, which I also have, 1995, the year after this one, they changed it back to Goku and everything else is normal. So they did go back to that, obviously. Uh, but yeah, this is super awesome. Obviously you couldn't buy this because there's no barcode or anything. So technically, like, it's not included. Like, I don't care to have it in my collection standpoint. But yeah, as you see, right here it says zero zero and his friends struggle to help penny but yeah that's amazing i don't know who the freak thought it was a good idea to call him zero but yeah uh inside here well obviously inside here is the vhs but here's the vhs dragon ball curse of the blood rubies they also put they put the s on this one funny enough uh, running time 43 minutes 18 seconds and then you got your FBI warning I actually put this in the player last night and watched about five minutes of it awesome stuff but yeah uh, I believe I'm literally the first person to document this in video format there's, there's a, a website uh, that goes over this and uh, it's uh, very uh, a lot of history behind this which we'll go into more details at the end of this video but real quick let's go over Let's go over the other tapes here. So now we have the super rare screener version, uh, which has the official artwork to the actual uh, official release, except it has the screener, obviously, 
screener, screener slash trailer, not for rent or sell. Uh, the box art is exactly the same besides that, and the back is different. It has that, which I will compare it, but nothing different. I believe the tape is slightly different too. Not for rent or sell. Yeah, see, it's the uh, the sticker on the tape is slightly different. Now I will I will get the uh, official one out because you know I, I do that. So here's my official one. This one is sealed because I go for a fully sealed VHS collection. See, as you can see, the only difference is the down here is red and that one is blue. Uh, the spines are the same. I can go ahead and confirm that to you. But see, on the back, the uh, the bio is the same, but on the screener they had to like uh, erase the suit, the deeper bio, I guess, to uh, advertise. They're advertising Dragon Ball in the United States. That's what makes these so cool. Uh, now we're going on to just just to show these because these are all the uh, all the releases in the United States of Curse of the Blood Rubies, which was the first dub uh, ever. This is the uh, volume two of the Saga of Goku box set, uh, but this includes the full length feature as saw there. Which everybody knows about this just wanted to include it because might as well show everything on one video and uh, Educate everybody in the world, but yeah nothing special about this one Just wanted to show it and that one is the same as the VHS and then Funimation finally got the rights in 2011 to actually redub their own uh, version of this movie and uh, This is the, uh, the Thick DVD the single it also comes in the box set the movie pack uh, box set which I just decided to include this one because why not yeah, that, that's that's all the releases, but holy crap. I mean, I got the screener about six months ago, and I knew, I'm going to go into a little backstory here. So, I knew of this tape's existing in 2019. I, I've been collecting VHSs or Dragon Ball for seven years now, which is not a long time. But, uh, I, I focused on getting the VHSs fully sealed for the longest time. I, I prioritized that. And in 2019, I saw a listing for this at a 99 cent starting bid. Uh, I uh, ended up, I was like, you know what, I'm going to try for it. You know, just because it seems super rare and like, like you're never going to find it again. Like a once in a lifetime deal. I maxed my uh, max bid at like 225 and some change. Uh, needless to say, uh, it sold for $511. And I, 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 I knew I probably wasn't going to win it. But the fact that that many people knew about this, I'm like, dang, I'm just entering a whole new realm of VHS, which I thought I was on top of the VHS game then. Because I have, I have, I pretty much had most everything I do now besides three or four things, right? Well, uh, two years go by, this pops back up uh, for 220 starting bid or buy now 420. Uh, the seller ended up negotiating with me for 350. I bought it instantly within five minutes of seeing it. Luckily, the guy was super cool. Shout out to him. Uh, paid a lot of money for this, but it's total worth it. This is, I mean, you, 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 I mean, it sold for five eleven. I got a deal out of it. There's many other people I can, I can name all people that I paid just the same. Uh, but funny enough, 2019, going back to that, there was actually a listing for thirty dollars that sold the very first one that week that has been documented. Uh, I didn't even see that one. Someone bought it way faster than I was able to see it. And that was like three months prior to the one that sold for five eleven. Then two years later, the one I got. So there's at least three copies in circulation, or well, not in circulation no more. Also, if you read the full website, one, the first one that sold for thirty actually got lost in the mail, uh, going back and forth to um, two guys, two friends' house, because they were, you know, they were documenting the tape, and they ended up, they ended up getting lost in the mail. Tragic. So there's at least, we know there's at least three out there. Well, actually, let me take that back. In an interview of one of the uh, voice actors for Funimation in the background at Funimation headquarters, there is one of these tapes in the background. Not sure if this if it's one of the three that we saw. There's up to four that we've seen in photographic proof. Uh, one is lost. I own one. One at Funimation headquarters, and then the guy who bought it for 511 has one. So there's at least four that we have proof of it existing. Um, funny enough, also in 2019, this screener popped up and sold for like maybe 290 my max bid was again 220 i lost it then uh early mid 2020 yeah mid uh, 2020 this popped up and i ended up getting it for about 250 ish and uh i was like okay at least i have this screener i'm probably never gonna get this one and, and sure enough about a year six eight months later i actually get the sample version and uh boy was i so afraid of losing it in the mail 
I could not wait for it to get in. I just got it yesterday, and it is it's the prize possession, 100%. Uh, like, funny enough, I'm still missing that one VHS tape. And for my entire collection to be finished, I'm missing eight. So we're, we're getting there. Like I said, these two I don't actually count for my collection, but dang it if they're not awesome in bragging rights and they just stick out and they're like, what 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 are you going to do? Like, th this is history of Dragon Ball in the United States. The first two releases ever in the United States. First produced home video that you could actually watch. 1994, 1995, then 1996 with the official release. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. This was a super awesome video. I'm so glad I was able to document this for history's sake. Um, I'm definitely gonna like uh, save the contents of these just in case somehow these get destroyed or the VHS tape doesn't work anymore. I'm gonna try to save everything of it I can on these two for sure, because it's history. But anyways, uh, this has been Colt with Radar Force. Uh, hit me up with questions. If you have any questions in the comments, Discord, whatever, we have a Facebook. Uh, we have a YouTube, obviously, and uh, Facebook. We have an Instagram and a Discord. Check those out on the uh, description below. And uh, like the video, leave a comment, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Uh, you guys are awesome. Take care. Peace.